Hello, everybody. My name is Vinod Karela. I'm a PhD student at Faculty of Technology Policy and Management in Delft University, University of Technology. I have been to Kanpur for three months uh, in the year 2007 to do my summer research at uh, IIT Kanpur. That's why I know the problem very well. Uh, in this um, video, I'm going to give you the, the feedback in the Powerless documentary about the problems in electricity distribution in Kanpur, India. You got a detailed insight into the complexity surrounding socio-technical systems in this video. We are delighted by the quality of your comments and discussion that followed. It is very interesting to observe that you, most of you thought about the situation in your country in order to provide solutions to Kanpur's electricity problem. Thank you all for your very active participation. First of all, I would like to update you regarding what is the current electricity situation, situation in Kanpur. I'm sure some of you must have tried to investigate that in the internet. To my surprise, the website of Kanpur Electricity Supply Company, Kesco, is not functioning. There has been several attempts to hand over the power distribution to Kanpur to the private sector. Even a franchise agreement has been signed with Torrent Power a few years ago. However, privatization has not successful till date, mainly due to protest of Cisco staffs. Due to the privatization move since 2009, much of the equipment needed to keep the power infra infrastructures in good working orders hasn't been procured. They are even facing difficulties in planning the years ahead due to, the, due to this uncertainty. Moreover, the number of employees has been reduced from 3,100 to 1,900 in 2013. During the same period, the number of consumers has increased from 330,000 to almost 600,000. Therefore, there is immediate need to strengthen the electricity infrastructure. In 2013, Kesco did ask the government 140 million euros for infrastructure improvement. However, only 6.5 million euros was sanctioned. However, in terms of revenue collections, Kesco sets a new record every year, sometimes 56% higher than previous year. It is in fact performing far better than neighboring city Agra, which is being managed by Torin Power, a private company. Kesco is generating 4.5 euro cents per kilowatt hour, whereas Torin Power makes only 3.25 euro cents per kilowatt hour. Coming back to your comments and discussion, most of you pointed towards the infrastructure and its governance. Network infrastructures, such as electricity distribution network, depends completely on the value chain in the wider electricity system. Many problems are due to misalignment between different levels in the infrastructure. To meet the local demand, these infrastructures depend on production and transmission systems, which were not pictured in this film. We saw interesting discussion on better urban planning and flexible infrastructures. Many of you rightly mentioned the fragility of the state in developing and emerging economies in maintaining complex infrastructures, such as distribution grid. Similarly, aging infrastructures are part of the problem. Some of you mentioned about negative feedback loop due to poor quality service and corruption. Many problems we saw in the film are also due to different actors not performing their roles and duties responsibly. In Kanpur, there has been politics on electricity from all sides, from consumers, from politicians, from uh, staffs, from every, everybody. The attempt to solve the problems by Kesco staff management didn't give fruitful results either. It shows how difficult it is to change the existing institutions which are already there for several years. The properties of socio-technical -tec systems such as emergence and complexity makes it even harder to understand the effect of different attempts to restructure such systems as we saw in the video. As a part of a solution for the electricity distribution problems in Kanpur, you came up with interesting suggestions such as use of alternative sources, 
like renewables, uh, uh, solar, wind, uh, prepaid cards, subsidies on alternative sources, underground cables, liberalizations, and privatizations. These solutions are interesting, but maybe not all of them are feasible aid. We also saw a lot of backup diesel generators in the film. Although diesel has been subsidized in India, that's why it's very cheap. But if you see in terms of the noise and air pollution, uh, these solutions are not a good option. However, many consumers who can afford it choose these solutions. It is, it is really, really available and they don't have other options. Alternatively, renewable sources such as PV and wind could help. However, for this, government should come up with a good and reliable policy framework such as feed-in tariffs in Germany. Although India has already decided for feed-in tariffs, most of these are targeted at large-scale power plants such as big wind farms or uh, large solar PV plants. <coughs> the solutions are not yet suitable for the small-scale applications. Underground cables are a good solution, which is, being, which is even being applied in many urban areas of emerging economies. However, these cables are costly and their, their rollout should be well coordinated with urban planning so that there are less problems later. Prepaid cards are another good option, but they might have rebound effect and increase the amount of theft. The distribution systems in Kanpur is a public monopoly. The main aim of liberalization is to achieve better quality and affordability of the infrastructure services. And privatization is a means to achieve this goal through competitions, but privatization is not a goal in itself. Maybe corporatization of Kesco is a better option, uh, keeping in mind that Kesco is generating more revenue than its neighboring private distribution company in Agra, as described before. As we have observed, Kanpur in summer is very hot, and most of the supply deficit also occurs during this time due to thermal limits of generators and transformers. A local solution to integrated renewable electricity and cooling is another option to solve the supply deficit of Kanpur and could be further investigated. Last but not least, Kanpur should fight to get more supply from the central power production plant as it seems that current allocations to Kanpur is unfair. Thank you for watching this and good luck for the rest of the courses.